Yo, what's happening guys? It's the Mercenary. Welcome back to another Starfield video. And today's video, I'm going to be carrying on with more achievement hunting slash helping the house of Arun. And the last uh, video that I made, unfortunately, I had to scrap because I thought my microphone was recording and it wasn't. So it was just basically gameplay with no commentary behind it, which out of um, respect, I guess some people wouldn't mind at all. But to me, I do because of the content I'm trying to generate. Also, I'm very thankful to the people who have seen my videos and commented recently. Uh, the one that commented recently was asking for a little bit of guidance on the map for connecting with a Nosco. Now, without getting into the first person depth of that part of the, the question, I'll just kind of show in this map here because this is where it all started. So basically, this is the platform where you go to uh, check on the morning device and then it leads you all the way down to here. And then there's like this rounded valley gap here that you got to follow. So you work yourself all the way through here. And then the cave is right around in here. Now, once you're done connecting with a Nazco, the cave and then exit in the cave after connecting with them, the cave itself will collapse within of itself, otherwise imploding. So there would be no way to gain access to it. So I'm not quite sure what their situation was when it came, when they explained that they, their game was looping or something. Um, yeah, that's just the way to get there. So this person may have already thought of their way of getting already and already surpassed this problem. But either way, I just want to give that little bit of a heads up for future people who may come come into a similar situation. And secondly, uh, getting myself back into the content creator mindset uh, space again, that is a progress within itself. Like I'm trying to work of getting myself back into this. So I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing beyond Starfield at this point, just because I thought a new DLC for a game which has not been explored by too many yet, but at this case right now, there's a lot of people who have explored it and already given their really sharp opinions about it, which is probably unsavory reviews, just because um, it may not have lived up to their expectations, but I always come at it with an open mind because I enjoy the game, the base game altogether because I'm a space nerd and I love astronomy, so this game fulfills a lot of those boxes in one and just expanding on that just makes this even greater so i come with like a lesser mi uh, expectations mindset i come at this with the lesser expectations and just learn to be surprised with whatever this game delivers and stuff so i'm not really that critical reviewer that will you know spit on this game and call it for what it is and stuff just because i want to enjoy it for what it is but there is a part to this game I'm hoping to learn a lot more about, and that is what people keep on preaching about, which is the Great Serpent, which sounds more of a deity than an actual physical being. So I'm hoping that this game will more or less expand on that idea of what the Great Serpent is, because I've, I've been curious about that ever since uh, I found Andreja and made her, through a one-time playthrough of being her significant other, and that she was worried that the uh, Great Serpent may have different plans for her. So. Hopefully this expansion, you know, elaborates more on that. But anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, the last mission had me basically go on a wild goose chase for uh, one of the uh, members here to find their cousin. And unfortunately, they did not, um, they were found unalive and I had to report that news back to her. So now I'm on a quest to go find Jandar's rest. So without further ado, let's get on with uh, the show, shall we? All right, so here we are, and it looks like we have quite a ways to go. So, thankfully, I have my Rev Eight here. But yeah, as I uh, ride there a little bit, I just want to thank you guys for any to all continued support from previous or past videos. And if you guys are still with me to this day, I thank you even more. Just because finding old supporters and those who don't comment is kind of like two things in between. So finding out that people come out from the shadows saying that uh, you know they're either new or just discovered me for the first time. I appreciate y'all all the same. So, ah, oh, we're already here, damn, I didn't take very long, did it? Okay, here we go. I suspect some of this is gonna, I need to uh, use my charm and persuasion. Okay, so we gotta go upstairs, the big room. Ah, okay. Harbinger. I was wondering when you graced my office with your presence. Um, I wasn't aware I had fans. <laughs> How ironic that is. Oh, you have fans all over Dazra. 
count myself among them. In fact, I think you and I are going to be friends. But I realize that's not why you're here, hmm? Shall we get down to business? Please, let's. Excellent. I take it this is about the missing supplies. I may have some intel on my computer that could help you with your case. I have evidence also, an encrypted safe from Zealot. Kisrani thinks you can decrypt it. Well, look at that. The Great Serpent favors us both. It just so happens that one of my agents recently recovered a Zealot cipher key and dropped it off this morning. Here, a copy of the key for your records. Well, as you can see, the encryption they're using is mind-numbingly simple. Take the slate number and multiply the even numbers by two. Your slate's numbered 2032, two, which means the key is... You hit the bullseye. 4034. Let's see what you've won. Looks like an all-expenses-paid journey to John Dar's rest. Lucky you. Okay, scanning the coordinates, this point further north. Hidden in Badlands. Clever, clever. Alright, I have what I need. Thank you. <laughs> Going in there alone, huh? I suppose any extra hands would just get in your way. But that aside, let's get to the guts of the issue. Hmm? After reading through the evidence, where do you think the supply thief is from? Could it be house to Kef? <laughs> now that would be a twist. But I doubt they would have authorized the death of their own cousin. Well, whoever the thief is, I think it's all but guaranteed you'll find more clues at John Dar's rest. Now, since you have what you need, I'm going to turn my attention to other matters. I've enjoyed our time together, but as they say, Patient guests are quick to stink. Let's avoid that from happening to us. Hmm? As you say. Okay. <clears throat> As we are. I got all the companion and help that I need. Thank you very much. Also, I've noticed in my past videos, I'm going to have to do a audio check here because when doing the editing part, I've noticed that my audio and my video tend to desync while recording. So I'm going to just quickly establish that. You are making a bit of a scene here. Oh, uh, just a minor scene. I want to make sure my audio and video are all together nice and neatly. Because lately they have been and I've had to, you know, I've had to uh, check on face animation and uh, voice audio synchronization and sometimes they don't match up. So that's my better way of doing that thing they do in the movies, the check report thing. Oh, wait, this looks like it's going to be a ways away, isn't it? <clears throat> Holy crap. Okay, well, luckily you guys don't have to um, bear with me on the long, boring journey. So, as I usually do. Alright, so it looks like we're just over the bend here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. I feel like I've got the uh, eagle's nest opportunity here. So, uh, let's go at this calmly, shall we? Let's just get to that entrance, shall we? Now. Let's sneak in. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna take too long. Oh, okay, there we are. You know what? I know there's some enemies around here. Let's do this uh, wall hack stuff. An opportune one at that. Caves like this can be a way to conceal the presence of an illegal operation. Oh, 
So let's keep it real on the down low, shall we? <clears throat> oh, look at all you guys. Hmm. anything of value possibly potentially they always have th something of value here Beautiful. Through here, I'm sure where it leads. Okay, so I gotta choose my options wisely if I refuse or if I wish to not rattle too much of this operation. That or just take them out as fast as possible. Oh, that takes care of that. Oh, oh hello. The great circus. Gosh, you guys are saying that all around. That should be a first time hit. <laughs> I swear I'm not bad like this intentionally. But when they move, when I least expect them to, that's what throws my shot off. Yep. We were destined to succeed. Well, that's why I have you here with me. You know what? This sucks. Why am I missing so many? Yeah, that's better. The contact has already returned to Dazra, and your handler, Kisrani, will die by their hand. Who is your contact? They are one who has Jinan's ideals in mind. To make House Varun the might of the settled systems. Only by uniting with House Malin is this possible. Why take supplies from Dazra? Because they are weak and unworthy. For years they cowered in their holes, leaving us to fight the war that Jinan began. What do you mean Kisrani will die? We have dispersed our people to Dazra. The contact has agreed to smuggle them in and kill the one named Kisrani to Kef. Your journey. However, ends here. We can make a deal. I'll let you go if you give me the name of the supply thief. 
child of Jerich. Formerly, I would not entertain such cowardice. But the speed of your arrival is suspicious. How did you find this place so swiftly? I wonder if the contact has betrayed us and fled to safety. Killing us would remove his only witnesses. Hmm. It seems a bit more than that is at play. I used a cipher key on one of your encrypted slates, which had the coordinates, but I don't know where the key came from. It is unlikely such a thing would have simply fallen into your hands. We are not so careless. A leak is possible. Yeah, you know, I never tried this before. I'm gonna do it now. Interesting. I suspected the same. Very well. If we have been betrayed, then there is no bargain left to uphold. The name of our contact is from House Kadik. This slate will give you all the evidence you need. Oh. Why, child of Jerek? Pray we do not meet again on more even ground. Indeed. Now, I'm not quite sure. I never really hit that auto persuade. Usually I'm going to do that myself. But not knowing what was said that made him convinced not to fight is also something I'm curious as to what that speech could have been. Either way, we we found some diplomacy. I'm happy for that. That is something else. I've spent more than enough time in my life in caves. But if there is something to be gained in this one, we should investigate. Whoa, like that does sound like someone I know from another game. Another cave. I've spent enough time underground myself, but if you want to go in, I'm right behind you. Varun zealots deserve no quarter, no mercy. They should all be wiped out. I agree, but being that we actually came out of that unscathed is actually a goal within itself. We don't have to attack. Great. Okay. Well, looks like I've got me quite a trip back there. What buzz is this? Oh, okay, it isn't back in the city. All right. Well, I'm glad this is another journey you guys don't have to endure. I'll see you guys when I'm back there. All right. Now that we're back. Let's go give this slate to the relevant parties. Okay, let's go inside. Find out what's wrong. We're back. Did you uncover anything at Jandar's rest? Well, Jean Kadik is the supply thief. Oh, Jean. Are you sure? I'm sure. Then I may be walking into an ambush, seeing as Mujin's the one who organized this meeting and supplied my security detail. The meeting takes place inside the Halls of Obedience. Will you watch my back? I've got you covered. Thank you. Okay, let's walk. Oh wow, this was a setup from the get-go. How unsurprising. What is it? Did you see something? Well. Jinan, bless you. I would not have survived that if you hadn't been here. I'm just glad you're okay. That is kind of you to say. Your benevolence continues to surprise me. In any case, now is not the time to dawdle. Our next move must be to arrest Mujin. Let's do it. Thank you. This assassin's attempt will help our case, but we still need evidence tying him to Mujin. 
If you have time, check his office. There may be information connecting him to this individual. I can do that. Good. Our case must be ironclad given whom we are accusing. Regardless, he must answer for aiding the Zealots and the murder of my cousin. Give me until the coming dawn and I will summon the relevant parties to my office. Mark my words. We will bring him to justice with all three noble houses as witness. Okay, sounds good. Oh, that was a bit sudden. Okay, so that seems like way over there. But I feel like I've extended my time on this video as it is. So I hope you guys did enjoy this half convoluting playthrough. <laughs> Either way, hope you guys did enjoy. Feel free to give me a like or a dislike. And get yourself subscribed with that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next whatever episode I bring. Peace out.